Hey everyone, welcome back to Sherry Proof. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. And if you're already a part of the Sherry Proof family, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I want to share with you multiple ways that you can use your chemical exfoliants, whether it be a toner, a serum, or one of the more intensive peels that some of us have already purchased. Here's how to get a little bit more bang for your buck. So the first one is no stranger to my channel. I have told you guys about this. I have been doing this for so long, like more than a year now, and I have not looked back. And that is using my acid toner as my deodorant. Now, any of your AHAs will work here. And I'm talking about alpha hydroxy acids. So things like glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid. You can use any of these in this particular area, but you will find that for most people, what has been most effective is using a glycolic acid toner as your deodorant. Now, why does this work? The pH of these ingredients is actually too low for odor causing bacteria to survive. So basically, when you put something like this on your underarms, what you've done is you've created an environment that will not necessarily stop sweat. What it will do is not create an environment that is conducive for odor causing bacteria to multiply. So that is why you may find that even if you use your acetona as a deodorant and you're sweating and you smell your underarms like you still don't smell anything, the sweat is coming through but the odor causing bacteria is not able to live and survive. This works so amazingly. I love actually using both the Cosde Baja glycolic acid toner. You could also use the ordinary glycolic acid toner. Either of these are good. There are several other glycolic acid toners on the market. Whether you want to start with something that's like 5%, 7%, 8%, I find that those tend to be the percentages that most people can tolerate. I actually started doing this a couple times a week when I just started doing it because your underarm will have to develop tolerance. I also do not do this at all on the day that I actually shave or wax my underarms. But now I'm up to using it every day except on those days where I'm doing hair removal without an issue at all. And it not only kills odor causing bacteria so that you get huge improvement in body odor, especially if you're not using an antiperspirant, is that it will also help to clear up your underarms. So if you do have hyperpigmentation or darkness on their arms it's going to help that your underarms is also going to feel super smooth like baby soft because you are getting that exfoliation again everyone is different so i highly recommend that if you're going to start using this in this way to absolutely start gradually just a couple times per week build tolerance it is a game changer. You may also have an acid product, whether it's an acid serum or an acid toner. Another great way to use that is on other parts of your body. The skin on our body may not necessarily be as sensitive as the skin on our face. So other areas that you could use stronger acid serums and acid toners will be on other areas of your body where you may be dealing with things like hyperpigmentation. You might have some marks and so on. So maybe you have marks from things like body acne or, or probably just some other forms of hyperpigmentation, maybe on your legs, on your chest and so on you can absolutely use your acetone or acid serum in those areas of course if it's an area that is going to be exposed to the sun because of the clothing that you wear you absolutely want to also make sure that you're wearing sunscreen but using this actually regularly on those areas because of the exfoliating process will help those hyperpigmentation issues this is also really helpful for people dealing with keratosis pilaris. So you guys may also know about using salicylic acid on those areas of your body. But because of the buildup of the extra cells, using an AHA can actually be very helpful. Now, something that you could do in either of these cases is you can actually mix in your acid tone or your acid serum into your body cream or your body lotion that you're using and applying in those areas or you can simply put on the acid toner acid serum before and then top with your body cream now when i'm talking about a body cream i'm not necessarily talking about your fancy bath and body works or fragrance body lotions getting something that's basic even a baby lotion that is not fragrance just to be your base is going to be really helpful to use in a situation like this Okay, so you know some of us may have purchased those more intensive peels like the one by The Ordinary or there's one by Befect, a 30% one that I love. Skin 1004 also has a really, really good one. And for some people, they're fine with using it on their face. For others, they may find that it's too strong. Or perhaps you have the product and you want to find multiple uses for it. Another way that you can use this is on your feet. So have you ever had a pedicure where they have done like a glycolic acid peel or mask on your feet? It is exactly the same concept. Now, the skin on our feet is definitely tougher than the skin that's on our face. So the skin in this area could handle much stronger percentages. That's why I'm recommending these types of peels 
deals or these types of products in this area so if you are somebody especially with a lot of build up on your soles um on your heels and you want to have a little bit more support than doing just your regular foot soak and foot scrub that you may do at home something that you could definitely do is use one of these peels in that area you could actually do this up to once a week depending on how often you actually need it or probably as a once a month treatment to just help keep the build up on your feet to a minimum it works really well because alpha hydroxy acids actually work to break down the bonds of the glue that hold the dead cells together so you're actually helping the process along over time you will definitely see an improvement now let's say you don't have something like one of these stronger peels but you still want to use an exfoliating acid on your feet if you do have one of these stronger toners that i mentioned like the seven percent one from cos de paja or the ordinary or an, even up to a 10 percent glycolic acid toner that you may have you can also use this on your feet this could actually be a nightly treatment after you've showered and you've cleansed your feet and dried you could actually swipe the toner on those areas where you need the support you could actually also use an acid serum in these areas and then top it with your body cream or body lotion the same way i mentioned or the other thing that you could also do is mix in a couple of drops of these products into the cream that you're going to apply and put it on your feet as well finally i want to make a special mention of this particular use because i've actually had some clients that has been getting really really good results with this and that is especially for people who have an issue with acanthosis nigricans so for those of you who don't know it has to do with the buildup or the deepening of pigment especially at the back of the neck this tends to be a symptom of diabetes or even a pre-diabetic sign or it could be a signal for other health issues and it will tend to clear up once those health issues issues are being dealt with however a lot of people tend to want a little bit more support because it could be a concern in terms of the aesthetics for many people and something that actually works in that area is the use of lactic acid now lactic acid is also an alpha hydroxy acid that will break down and chemically exfoliate the skin however it's also a hydrating one so the skin is not going to get dry and it also has humectant properties there are actually some creams that are formulated with lactic acid and one of the uses has been in this particular way i highly recommend that if you already have something like because they baja lactic acid or perhaps the one from the ordinary you can actually apply that in this area especially if having this issue you could actually start a couple times a week and build it every other night make sure and apply your moisturizer on top or you could actually mix in the lactic acid serum again with your moisturizer and put it on on your neck area and definitely apply sunscreen during the day if you take photos you may actually start to see a difference in a couple weeks because it really really does work now the key here is that that lactic acid is going to work on breaking down those dead cells that are at the surface of the skin the moisturizer you use just like i mentioned you don't want it to be anything that's hugely fragrant so it has a ton of other ingredients that you may not necessarily need you could even use the moisturizer that you're using on your face and use it in that area but the key here is definitely using sunscreen because that lactic acid is going to be doing its part and you want to protect that work so in the daytime you want to make sure that you not just apply sunscreen on your face but make sure and put sunscreen on that area as well and if you definitely want to take it up a notch we're not talking about this in this video but you could also include retinol in your routine especially if you're dealing with this issue rotating a retinol and lactic acid in that area that might be the combination that you need so yeah guys we've come to the end of this video i hope that it was helpful i'd love if you can leave a comment down below on probably other ways that you use your exfoliating acids as opposed to just using it on your face which is the reason you probably bought the product for in the first place and also let me know what has been your favorite chemical exfoliant i'll see you guys in another video soon take care bye